There are videos on the internet saying you can become a software developer in four months, boot camps promising a job within a short period of time, and other fast ways to become a programmer. But I don't believe in any of these. Take this guy for example. He completed one of those shorter boot camps, has applied for over 600 jobs, and still not been accepted into a single one. This just doesn't work. In contrast, I remember the moment I signed the contract for my first software developer job in the summer of 2023. Finally, I was able to quit my job as a security guard and take the next step in my career. Being a software developer is probably one of the best jobs out there, and becoming one isn't just about the attractive salary, the exceptional working conditions, or the high demand in the job market. It's about transforming your life and opening doors to possibilities you might not have thought achievable, including one day launching your own software business if you'd like. Regardless of why you're considering becoming a software developer, I'll show you how I did it. I'll also present two alternative strategies you can use if my way doesn't suit you. But first, I'd like to kill your dreams. Don't be like that guy in the beginning of this video. A four month bootcamp won't turn you into a good software developer regardless of how well they're trying to sell it to you. So my first piece of advice is to accept the fact that for most people, becoming a software developer takes time. If I told you that you could become one in just three months, I'd get 10 times as many views. But I won't because you can always count on Boomaniac telling the truth. Instead, be prepared for this journey to take some time. If you're young, the best way is probably through the education system. At least that's how I did it. And after completing the first two thirds of a computer science degree at university, I was offered a job as a software developer. Being able to commit to something for a couple of years, such as a university degree, shows employers that you're at least a relatively reliable person. And not only that, after two years of doing computer science, I felt fairly prepared to take on the daily tasks of a programmer. I certainly didn't feel ready after just the first four months though. If the education system doesn't suit you, then I suggest building out a portfolio of well-made and interesting software. A portfolio is a collection of different programs you made for yourself that you'll use to demonstrate your programming skills to potential employers. If you create something relevant and interesting enough, that might be all it takes to land the software developer job of your dreams. You can do this on your own free time, spending as little as 30 minutes per day. For the sake of honesty, I've not used this strategy myself, but I've showed off my portfolio in this video in case you'd like some inspiration. If none of that is for you though, then another way forward is working for yourself. I suggest creating some digital product or service that you can sell to an already existing company, like I did with some friends when building a better job matching tool for the public employment agency. The way it works is that instead of creating a completely new service on your own, you build upon existing services instead. In our case, we improved the already existing job matching tool. This strategy is called intrapreneurship, which differs quite a lot from entrepreneurship, and I present it fully in this video. We built the product in just three weeks with almost no prior software development experience. It shows that you don't really need a lot of skills to get started. If you manage to come up with a solid idea and prototype it, then all you have to do is sell it. The easiest way to make a working prototype for most things, and what I use to build the commercially viable job matching tool, is by learning Python. It's the best programming language to get started with for most people. I suggest learning Python using books, YouTube tutorials, or what I think is the fastest way, using the Bowmaniac Python course linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Bowmaniac video.